Anyway, the next level, next person I'm gonna call to the stage is my good friend from the WGO family, uh, which stands for West Glen Oaks. He's in the building. Put your hands together for Paul. Put your hands together for Paul. Paul's in the building. WGO family. I just want to say thanks a lot for everybody today. Uh, to hear me out. So here goes. It's called Uncle. <coughs> Uncle Stanley was bald and short, slim and fit for a man in his mid seventies. Taught me how to lay shingles on a roof, hammer and nails to fix a gutter, chase bees away which have a nest lodged under a crevice in his awning. Taught me how to lay tar on a driveway. Through his guidance, I know how to mix cement. Make sure I had enough water, but not too much. The window air conditioners came out just before old man winter. At the right time, when the temperature begins to decrease, when inches of snow would fall, no help was needed because he had a snowblower and rock salt. As the summer heat approaches, take the air conditioner from the garage, put it back in the windows. Our time together is priceless. Paul, work hard and save money. Take care of your mother. Take care of your grandmother. Don't drink, yet you hear the hiss of a freshly opened butt can. <laughs> Don't smoke, he does, and the smell lingers on his clothes. When you work hard, nobody can criticize. See, he has lessons within lessons. August 2008. I threw out a pack of cigarettes. Quick nicotine, cold turkey. Use my own wealth. I, I saw him slowly deteriorate, withered down to skin and bone, unable to get up from bed to use the bathroom. I helped lift him up and remember telling myself I could feel his rib bones. Went to see him after work, spent an hour just holding his weak hand, which were previously strong for so long. I told him that I caught someone stealing at work. He told me he was proud. Since my time with him was up, because he just wanted to let go of my hand. Medication made him drowsy. I told him I'd let him sleep. I didn't think that would be the last day I'd see him. So I leaned over and whispered, Uncle Stanley, get better because your nephew loves you. I hugged him and gave him a firm handshake. That was the one and only time I expressed, I expressed my appreciation for the lessons he taught. The following day, he passed away. I was glad he didn't suffer for too long. Now on, the, now on to following his words. Mend my mother's broken heart, lend my shoulder for her to cry. My grandmother said she lost her only son. Assure her that her grandchildren will take care of her and she'll never be alone. I will never be able to completely pay my uncle back for his positive direction. Thanks a lot, everybody.